On July 19, 1994, the Henry Clay Band met its new director, Teresa Elliott. It was clear right from the start that she knew what it took to run a top-notch band program, and one of her first requests was directed toward the band parents. You give me the kids and thank you very much for doing that, and I'll mold them into the people that, that you'll be proud of. But I need your support. And any time there's a, there's a change, there's always a little, a little holding back. And all I ask of you is not to hold back, but to push full, full ahead because, and I, I hope I can convince you that I know what I'm doing, and, I'll, and we'll get it done a lot faster. The band was immediately faced with some tough challenges. Teresa Elliott came on board just before band camp, and she didn't know for sure what size of a band she'd have. And that made writing and learning the drill more difficult. One, two, four, and one, two, ready, go. Sixteen, two. Shoulders, shoulders, shoulders. There was an air of urgency as everyone knew they had to really hustle to learn the new show. The upperclassmen had their work cut out. Not only did they have to be patient with the new system, they had to be patient with all the new freshmen. The worst thing about being a freshman in the band is marching because you don't know the intervals yet and they're really weird and you think you're going to fall backwards when you do backroom, backwards marching. And but aren't the upperclassmen some of the nicest people you'll ever meet? Yeah, they're really nice. They're like, I think they got a speech before we came. Be really nice to the freshmen and don't give them a hard time because they're really scared to come here, and I was. But now I'm not because they're really nice. What time? What two, And what two. With each passing day of band camp, the kids learned more and more formations. The show was starting to take shape. It's like a happy show, a brand new day, kind of like turning over a new leaf. And the music's been done by Doug Oatley and Sean Owens, our assistant director. And the drill's been done by George Elliott, Teresa's husband. And he's just, he's done an excellent job with the drill. It's, it's really complex. It's easy to read, though. It's going to get us lots of points. The music's a lot of fun. I think it's pretty good, and I think that's pretty much the general consensus is that everybody likes it. It's a fun show. We have two really fast tunes that are nice music and then we have a nice slow ballad that everybody seems to like. The annual band picnic was one of several summer activities planned by the band boosters. Oh, we, we don't need a net. So how do you play this without a net? How do you play without a net? You imagine one. Yeah, this is actually one of those concentration exercises we got from Dr. Tam. We're expanding our minds by playing without a net, actually. See, because if you look really hard, you can almost see it. Here, yeah, if you just imagine. business today? Uh, it's going pretty good. I think. You got a few people to start, but not Yeah, a couple people say we'll come back, but hopefully they'll come back. Turn around. Ah! Good job, Michelle. Real good. <laughs> Gosh, guys. What's the problem here? They didn't get the side of the truck. They just washed the window. We haven't finished yet, Mary. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. When the band had learned enough of the show, it scheduled an informal run-through for the parents. The kids had a long way to go, but it's always nice to have that first performance under your belt.
Afterward, band director Teresa Elliott pulled a surprise and called the parents out onto the field to learn a set. Henry Clay's band camp came to an end, but all in all, a lot had been accomplished. Not knowing what to expect when uh, when I came in last Monday, it's been a it's been it's been real fun. It's been a it's been a real challenge, but it's also been fun. I think we're going to do really well. I mean, we've made some great improvement over these past two weeks, and if we just keep drilling and practicing over and over really hard, then we're going to go places. Henry Clay's first public performance was for the school's freshman orientation. Henry Clay's first contest was at Madison Central High School down in Richmond. The rainy weather may have dampened the equipment, but it didn't dampen the spirits. The band even came up with its own makeshift outdoor dressing room. You guys ready for the first contest? Yeah. yeah. What's the secret to putting on a uniform correctly? <laughs> Keep asking which one goes over which shoulder. I do it every year. You need to pull his real tight so he can hit the high notes. Yeah. The seniors knew the game plan. Today is going to be cooperation and everybody concentrating and working together. Then there were the freshmen. Um, well, I'm just a little bit nervous. This being my first contest. Um, I've never been in one. I, I've never even seen one before, so it's kind of scary. The band went inside to the gym for a warm-up that used a little teamwork to loosen up some hard-to-reach muscles. <laughs> Soon it was time for the preliminary performance. Like it or not, this first contest was an important one for the band and its new director. Placing high would be a much needed shot in the arm. Henry Clay also won awards for Best Field Commander, Best Visual, and Best Overall Effect. But they still weren't satisfied with their performance. I mean, this is incredible. We did poorly, and we got this. Think about it tonight. When we do a good show, we're going to kick some real butt, aren't we? <laughs> 
Director Teresa Elliott told the band they'd have to improve their overall performance and raise their music score in the finals. Then the band parents set up a table full of sandwiches and chips to recharge the band's batteries. This is the meal that's going to get you grand champions tonight. That's it right there? That's exactly right. That's it, isn't it? That's exactly right. Now it was in the hands of the judges. Our grand champion, sponsored by Don Wilson Music Company and presented by Larry Blackburn, chairman of this year's tournament and president of the Madison Central Band Boosters, goes to, well, you know, Henry Clay High School. I've been in the band since ninth grade. That was 1991. This is 1994. It's September. That's four years. It's about time. I don't know how many hours. I'm sure thousands of hours of work. And finally, a grand championship. I can't tell you how complete my life feels right now. So I want you to enjoy it, but I also want you to know how hard it's been to get that. And for you seniors that have never won, the, won with something like that, congratulations. But there could be a lot more of those, but only if the rehearsals become the performances. I think it's good for the kids, and it builds up their, uh, so, oh, their filmed, egos a little bit, exactly. gets their confidence going, especially with the amount of freshmen we have. So I think this is a good, good thing for the kids, a good thing for our program. Between contests and football games, the band was busy. The Henry Clay Band was confident going into the Bryan Station contest, perhaps a little too confident. After all, they were coming off a grand championship the previous weekend. But facing tough competition, the band had to do well in the prelims to make the evening finals.
The good news was the color guard winning the best auxiliary award in class 3A. But the bad news was the band finishing third and not making the finals. I told them that, uh, that there were some points that I really enjoyed and some parts of, of the show was really, really done well today, but there was a lot of problems. And it was a problem with performance as much as it was focusing in the mindset. And I think on the way over here, some of them uh, kind of may, maybe took a little bit too much for granted. Such a mixture of emotions from last weekend to this weekend. How are you guys going to deal with this? What's the, what's the outlook of the band? It's, uh, we're certainly looking to the future now. We're trying to put this past behind us. Uh, the first week we had it easy, it made us look better than we were at the time. And this week we, we saw the reality, the truth, what it's like to go against the, the big guys. Needless to say, the kids worked a little harder for the Jessamine County contest. But they also armed themselves with an arsenal of good luck charms. Okay, well everyone in the band should have a penny somewhere on their body right now because she gave a lecture on heads up on pennies, so it means good luck. So every guard member has a penny on their chest somewhere. And the gummy bears? And the gummy bears are another good luck thing just because they need sugar. So we give them one just to get them psyched. Even the director wore a good luck charm of sorts. You know, where are those when you go for the awards, you know? Very nice. Yeah, Cracker Barrel. <laughs> and so the Henry Clay Band, their pennies, and a guard full of gummy bears took the field. Henry Clay received first place in its class along with awards for best music and best overall effect. The band also won best percussion, best auxiliary, and received a superior rating. But there was even more. The reserve grand champion, Henry Clay. pretty good about the band's performance today I think I think we all did a good job and it's gonna bring the morale up Henry Clay's next contest was at Moorhead State University it was a ratings only contest without the added pressures of competing against other bands but it was the last contest before the state competition and Moorhead's large stadium would be filled to capacity Two, eight. If you all... <laughs> I told you I'm really bad at this Wait, no, wait. No. Hey, that's not in the show. My hand. <laughs> it's not in the show. Is. Can you see our solo? <laughs> Smile. <laughs> what are we doing here? What is this? She's trying to get the mark on her fingernails. She's trying to get off. Okay, you're wearing your lucky hat again. No, no, no. This is a new hat. A new one? This one came from Minnesota. Okay. It's special to get it. Now, this time it's, it's personalized. Ms. Elliott's wearing the, the cap. <laughs> Great. What do you think? I think we're going to win. I think the we're whole band should wear them. Yeah, yeah, that'd be cool. Yeah. <laughs>
Henry Clay received an overall superior rating, including superior ratings for both the auxiliary and percussion. It was definitely one of our good shows. We were performing. What did it feel like seeing the crowd when you're on the field? Oh, just exciting. I mean, all the adrenaline, just it's in a rush. After Moorhead, Henry Clay had two full weeks to prepare for the state contest. When they arrived for the prelims in Berea, the band already had a pre-dawn practice back at the high school under its belt. And the frosty late October air made warming up a real challenge. Get your arm circles, Gary. Keep moving so nothing gets cold. Keep moving. Wiggle your toes so you can feel them off. This could be your last performance today. How do you feel about all this? Well, I don't think it's going to be our last performance. I think we're going to be in finals. And I feel rather well about it. I think we're going to do the best we can. Henry Clay certainly did not have the luck of the draw. They had to perform first in Class 3A, and that meant taking the field at 9 o'clock in the morning. But the urgency of the moment helped everyone forget the time and the temperature. Soon, it was time for the gummy bears. The Madison Southern stands were filled with fans, many of them proud parents of the kids from Henry Clay.
was the Henry Clay High School Marching Band from Lexington, Kentucky. The directors are Teresa Elliott and Sean Owen. Henry Clay had to wait all day to find out how they did. 26 other bands had to perform in the crowded Class 3A. The kids did what they could to kill the time. Wrist, wrist, wrist. Elbow, elbow, elbow. Now watch the window. What's that? What are you guys doing? We're watching the window. <laughs> this is Miss America. <laughs> At one point, they even celebrated a birthday. Finally, at 5 o'clock in the afternoon, eight hours after performing, Henry Clay got the news, and the news wasn't good. The kids were very disappointed to find out that they were not among the four bands to make the evening finals at Eastern Kentucky University in Richmond. But their director was quick to lift their spirits. I saw most of those groups from the other side. And I'll tell you, if we went on, right, we won, 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 right with them, we'd be right there, too. And I knew going in that that, that, that was going to be a problem. We'd have to have almost a perfect show, and we didn't have a perfect show. But you performed wonderfully and just as, just as good as those guys. And there's nobody that should be upset about the progress that you made. And I'm not going to spend the next five hours or six hours or seven hours with a bunch of boo-hoo losers. You are not. And you get smiles on your face. Henry Clay did receive an important award. Later that evening at Roy Kidd Stadium, drum major Matt Ashman proudly accepted a plaque signifying a superior rating at state. Henry Clay's memorable marching season had come to an end. Henry Clay opened its concert season with a winter concert that began with the modern sounds of the jazz ensemble. The program also featured the concert band. Special holiday music was also provided by several of Henry Clay's ensembles. One of the highlights was this rendition of Jingle Bells with a touch of patriotic Sousa.
school spirit at basketball games was pumped up when the band was in the stands. In March, the Henry Clay Band presented its annual spring concert, and once again, the jazz ensemble warmed up the crowd. The concert band closed out its portion of the program with a popular Phantom of the Opera medley. And finally, the symphonic band closed the concert with a stirring performance of His Honor. Doing well at the KMEA Concert Festival was one of Henry Clay's main goals for the symphonic band and the concert band.
the judges liked what they heard and gave the concert band a superior rating. The symphonic band was also looking for a superior rating from the judges.
At District, the symphonic band received a superior rating in grand fashion, earning four straight ones, then repeated with four straight ones at the even tougher state festival. It was kind of the same way we had during marching season, because marching season we didn't know really how well we were going to do with a new director, and it was kind of, you know, the first contest we went to, we, we got grand champion, and, you know, it kind of broke us in, and, you know, we realized that we were doing well, and we were doing stuff right, and, you know, we were working well with Miss Elliott, and it was the same way, you know, at District we came in there, and we weren't really sure how things were working out because we had had some problems and some things hadn't worked out, but it, you know, it was really good to go in there and play and get straight superiors and realize that we were really doing good and things were working out. The district performance was really, really strong. I was real pleased with them, uh, straight superiors, including sight reading. Uh, but the kids, they, they worked hard. Uh, the, we had rehearsals constantly after school. Uh, actually, we didn't even decide to go to state contest until after the district performance the Monday following, and we just kind of took a vote on it, and the, and the kids really wanted to go. And uh, so we went down there and had even better of a, of a performance that, that evening at, at Mail. So I was, I was really pleased. And, and I think the exciting part was that the kids were, were very pleased with what, what they had done as well. Henry Clay's next performance was at the annual Pops concert held in the gym. It's a carry-in for all the families of Henry Clay's music students. And this year, the band kicked it off with the music of Andrew Lloyd Webber. <laughs> Part of the fun of the Pops concert is decorating the tables. This year, the theme was World of Pops. Student conductor Matt Ashman led the symphonic band through an arrangement of My Old Kentucky Home. Another highlight of the concert was Ben Hovey's Over the Rainbow trumpet solo. On behalf of this year's band, we'd like to thank Jack Patty for coming out to tonight's Pops concert and make him an honorary member of the band with this uh, Blue Devil Band t-shirt. Oh, cool. cool. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. I appreciate that. On June 1st, Henry Clay held its annual band banquet, 
and that meant another school year was drawing to a close. The seniors would be leaving, and now it was time to recognize and honor them. Uh, so this is our 1995 graduating senior class. It was also a time to present special awards for individual achievement. The Louis Armstrong Jazz Award was given to Ben Hovey. The Director's Award for Superior Leadership, Cooperation and Achievement was given to Mary Wiggins and Terry Morris. The U.S. Marine Corps Semper Fidelis Award for Diligence, Dedication, and Musical Excellence was presented to Teresa Kimball. And finally, the prestigious John Philip Sousa Award was presented to Matt Ashman. Well, this year's senior class is uh, comprised of 12 really unique and very special individuals. They've, they've gone through a lot with a change in their last year, and they're to be commended for the wonderful job they've done this year. And what a year it was. From the incredible achievements of concert season to the memorable moments of marching season, it was all part of Henry Clay's Field of Dreams. Ben has taught me that if you set your mind to it, then you can achieve it. And with hard work and dedication, that you can do anything. The best thing about Ben is that you learn how to work with people, to communicate with them, not to think only about yourself, but to, to get a whole group involved, how to lead a group, how to work with a group. And I think that will always help me, not only music, but in all aspects of life that, will, that I'll meet. And, just very good experience. To me, band has meant the friendships. I mean, the closest friendships I've ever had in my whole life have come from being in band. And I think a lot of that is from all the time we spend together and the, the practices and everything. And we, everybody gets to know each other really well. And that is definitely what, what I'm going to miss. It's the people in the band. It's the great friendships I've had with them. I'll really miss it because it's been such a big part of my life and part of my school at Henry Clay, it's been like the biggest part. So I'll really miss it.